Today is Saturday the 6th of uh, December and um, I didn't go to the conference of parties today, although it is still a negotiating day. Um, I was in another site in the Lima Country Club where IIED has organized with partners this year, CDKN, ODI and the Red Cross, our regular two-day event at the COP which we call Development and Climate Days which we always hold in the middle weekend on the Saturday Sunday. Today was the first day of the two days. It went very well. We had some very high level and provocative statements from the co-chair of the two IPCC groups, Working Group 2 and Working Group 3, uh, Dr. Chris Field and uh, Yoba Sakona. We had uh, a veteran uh, negotiator, uh, Farhana Yamin, and a number of other uh, opening speakers that set the scene. And then we had some very interactive and, and interesting sessions. We had uh, one from an artist, um, Tomas, who has made a, uh, an art sculpture, he calls it, although it looks like a balloon, um, from waste paper bags, uh, sorry, plastic bags that would normally be discarded or have been discarded and then are uh, recycled and put together into a, a massive balloon, which you can actually get into. And it gets uh, heated up by the sun's rays and uh, is a solar powered uh, art sculpture. Uh, we had great fun with it today. He's going to do it again tomorrow, even bigger one. Uh, so we've invited people to come and experience uh, being inside the art sculpture. Uh, we also have a high-level session tomorrow evening with uh, Helen Clark, the head of UNDP, uh, the minister from Peru, uh, Manuel Pulgar Vidal, uh, and a number of other uh, senior uh, officials. We hope that we'll have some interesting, provocative discussions. The main characteristic of the Development Climate Days is that we are not the COP. We are very informal, we relax, we network, we talk with each other, we don't come up with, we don't negotiate with each other, we come up with ideas to do things together, and we bring some high level senior people here not to give speeches but to answer questions and to see whether we can get them aligned with the kinds of ambition that we want. Uh, so I'll report back again tomorrow from uh, the Development Climate Days and then from Monday onwards I'll be back at the COP.